Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Lucy Walker, and now it's time to get into some serious sewing. So this is where you're going to really get the hang of sewing. Honestly though, if you can cut a straight line, a curved line, and a corner, there is no reason on earth why you can't do this. All you need is a little bit of patience and just the right amount of coffee. As we said earlier, we're going to start with the inside of the design first. So you'll need to take your saw, you'll need to undo the nut at the bottom to release the saw blade, and then simply thread the blade through the first hole that you wish to pierce out. Give a good squeeze on your saw frame here to make sure it's nice and tight, and then just tighten the bottom nut. You want to hear that nice high pitch pink. So at this stage, you should be sitting straight on at your desk, making sure you're very comfortable. And if you need magnification, you should definitely be wearing that now. So the first thing we need to do is lubricate our blade. You're going to want to grip onto your work as tight as you can using your left hand and hold your saw really nicely and relaxed in your right hand. And then we're simply going to start sawing. It's really important though to make sure that the area that you're sawing is as close to the bench pin as it can be. So you don't want to be sawing out here. You can saw here or you can saw here as long as it's nice and close to the bench pin. Now you don't have to saw out each cell individually. You can saw it out in several pieces and actually that's a lot easier in some cases. Now remember, once you get close to your starting point, make sure those fingers are not behind the blade. So now I've finished cutting it out, what I'm gonna do is use my saw as a file to clean everything up. So to do this, I start with my blade running pretty much parallel to the interior wall of the cell. You can hear it's not cutting right now. And I'm gonna slowly turn it inwards and you can tell you can just hear that lovely little noise. And that is your sweet spot. That is your saw blade working absolutely beautifully as a file. If you take a look underneath, you can see my thumb helping to support the blade from underneath. That really helps with control when doing something like this. It's really important to work on mastering using your saw for something like this, because at the end of the day, there are a lot of tiny spaces that we can't fit a file into. Our saw blade is pretty much the smallest file we own. Now to clean up the corners, what I'll generally do 